Hello everyone, Luffy Nodomo here. It's been a while since I had a chance to give my manga updates. These are actually the June-July After Anime Expo, so it's been a while. I want to try to pick back up on these, just in case anybody wanted to buy things while they're still available. As you can see, I've piled up a lot all the way up to November 2014, and I still haven't bought December's works yet. I'm going to start off with the Gal Game based anime series that I've enjoyed, which here is Kamigami no Asobi Gal Game art book. It's gorgeous, in my opinion, if you really like the series or if you just like the artwork. For me, I liked, you know, both everything about it. Now, I must say that the gameplay itself was rather boring, so I do not recommend playing the game, but I love the anime, so I got it based on that. Currently, I believe it's out of print right now, but it may come in print, you never know. Dramatical Murder had an issue like that where it went in print, out of print. And um, you may be able to find it on eBay. I think I still saw them available there. You still wanted to get it. Then I also collected the Gal Game manga here. Kamigami no Asobi manga is slightly different from the anime of the game. And it's also shorter, like this is volume 2, but it ends at volume 3. Then as you can see, I have another Gal Game related series. This is Arakana Family, volume 4. This also concludes that. So here are some of my favorite Gal Game related series that I've gone to anime or manga. Kamigami no Asobi and Arakana Family. And I also enjoyed Brothers Conflict and Diabolk Lovers. There is also a currently airing right now in 2014. It's something to do with like patissier, like she wants to become um, a dessert, you know, chef and stuff. I can't remember the name of it, but it's pretty cool. So I highly recommend those for a gal game related anime series. Then we have the conclusion here of Ojito Majuto Hime Gimito. This is The Prince, The Witch, and The Princess by Matsuzuki Ko. I liked it, but they had this strange plot twist at the end, and I didn't really like how they changed it, because it was like going along fine, and all of a sudden they're like, wait, that's not how it is, it's really like this, dun dun dun, -dun. I'm like, why did you change it? It was making sense, and then all of a sudden it didn't make sense. It's like, thanks for that, but otherwise, I still recommend it, I think it's a cute series. Then we have another concluding series, Kami no Mizushira Sekai, Volume 26. This also had a plot twist that to me was like, huh, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but that's still pretty cool. Neat. I quite enjoyed the series. As you can see, it's thicker than most of its previous volumes. So that's all on that one that's concluding. Then we have the uh, Kuroshitsuji, or Black Butler, number 19. 20 comes out December 2014. I still have to get that. Then this here says just TV anime announcement for the circus arc. And of course, for those who already like the series and already know about that, I believe it's already passed and happened. So that's all I've got to say on that one. Then we have... Makai Oji, Devils and Realist. This is the Gentei Bond version, and a Gentei Bond versus a regular edition is special edition. So Gentei Bonds usually come with a little booklet or a drama CD or a DVD, just depending, and the price gets raised, and the covers are usually different from the regular edition. So this is volume 9. I decided to get the Gentei Bond because I thought this booklet was going to be a little comic, but it was just some Valentine's Day, like, little love story event where you pick, you know, you make a choice, and then you get an ending with one of the, you know, devils. So it's like, okay... That was cute, but I don't know if it was worth it, but I thought it was going to be a comic. So the next one, Volume 10, is also coming out December 2014, which I still have to get. And that will come with a drama CD, but the cover is different. So the regular edition of Volume 10 has this gorgeous image of an Antalian on it, and so that's the one I want to get. So I think I'm going to stick with the regular one this time, because I don't really have an interest in the drama CD. But that one's coming up, so this is Volume 9, Volume 10, December 2014. 
Then we have some of these continuing series here, which I'm going to make some room. So I'm going to move things over just a bit here so you can see it better. So this is Fukumenke Noise. She's the creator who also did Monochrome Shonen Shoujo and No Satsu Junkie or Charming Junkie. I have volume fours, this is as well, but I'll show that in another video. This announcement here lists that it's a drama CD is going to be made. So that's kind of cool because I really do like the characters and the love plot going on between everybody. And I look forward to see who the voice actors are for this one. But that's all the announcement um, notable worthy that I can see on this one. And then we have volume 3 of Watashi ga Motete Dosunda. This one's also got volume 4 as well, because, like I said, time has passed. So I, I do still collect everything. The only thing new on this is the fact that there's this new girl, and she's come in, and I don't know if she's a lesbian or if she's just doing stuff to make them all go freakazoid, because, like, she's all lovey-dovey with her, and, like, doing, like, little hand kisses and things like that, and kind of she dresses up like a guy and stuff, and a lot of the girls are all like, oh my gosh, you're so cool. So I don't know if she's just, like, going around with her to mess with them and see what they do or not, so I'm not sure what her plan is here. But she's the newly added character, and I thought these chibis were super adorable, so I will show this. That's all for that. Then we have the gorgeous artwork by Nesumi Chisato here, and you may recognize this work. This is the latest work from her, and it's Kiri Kagohime to Mahotsukai, The Wizard and His Dear Fairy. It's a fantasy adventure series, and she does a lot of two-shot complete series. Another one that I was really interested in in getting, but I couldn't find because they said it was out of print, was the one that was related to the desert, and there was a thief and then there's this guard guy trying to get him. It's called um, Jahara Genya, I believe. And so if anybody knows any information on where they can find that, that'd be great because I want to get a hard copy of Volume 1 and 2 of that series. It's by Nesumi Chisato, so if anybody knows of that, that would be great to let me know. Then we have... Himitsu no Akuma-chan. This is volume 3, and this concludes this lovely BL etchy comedy. There's no, like, hardcore stuff going on here, but this is a devil, and he, it's a guy, not a girl. And this guy summoned him uh, unknowing that it wasn't a female and wanted to lose his virginity, so they made a contract, and that didn't work out because he's like, Oh my gosh, you're a guy. Wait, I don't want this. <laughs> And then the devil falls in love with him. So it's a really cute, like, little story about just devils and um, him and stuff like that. It, it's funny. So that concludes that. Now, it almost seemed like they made it open-ended. So you may, they may be able to bring back the series, but I'm not sure. I think they're going to conclude it here. Then we have Ningyo no Ojisama, The Mermaid Prince, by Kazumi... Yuana or you? Yeah, Yuana. Okay, that's a word. It's it's a little bit hard because you want to say Yuna, but it's Yuana. And this is like a new one for me, so I've got volume two as well. And I just finished last night reading this. This is a Little Mermaid takeoff, but in a strange, bizarre way. So she's this beautiful mermaid, and you know a lot of the Japanese or a lot of the other original fairy tales about the Little Mermaid where she turns into bubbles. That happens to her, but her whole dream was that she wanted to become human and fall in love. And then this other guy was with her at the time. So um, he ends up praying to the gods, and this goddess like responds and says, Okay, if you want to give up like a year of your life for her to become human, I'll let you do that. But I'll take this money too. And so so he says okay because he thought it, you know, it felt so bad for her because you know, she was just starting and she worked so hard to try to do this. And he's sort of not really a loser, but he doesn't have a job and he's in his 30s and he's got like all these issues and he, he feels all down on himself. So he kind of wanted to make her feel better. But the goddess played a cruel trick and turned uh, her into a guy human. So it was like, ah... 
He's, I love that picture. <laughs> I think it's amazing. And then I don't know if you can see down here so clearly. Hopefully you can. But she's like, oh, I have a third leg. Like, because she doesn't understand the difference between guy and girl. Like, she just wants to fall in love. So she doesn't really quite get everything. <laughs> and then, so as you can see, there's a little bit of BL going on. Because she does kiss him. But she doesn't really quite understand stuff. And I don't know. It's really cool. Little things happen. And when she drinks beer... For some reason, that causes her to change back into a mermaid. I don't know, it was really cool. And so I've got volume two. I still have to check out and read volume two. But it's an interesting series for A Little Mermaid take off because usually they do other fairy tales like Snow White, Alice, and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's a neat one. Then I'm going to go to this one. We have Kakugawa Ika Soko no Joshi. And let me bring this over so that you can see it easily. So this is volume one and two. It completes the series. It's about this handsome guy here who thought he was all that even though he's never had a girlfriend and thought he can get anybody. So he tries to ask her out. She was like the coolest girl or something and she's like no and she keeps rejecting him. So it's just basically all about the two of them trying to get together. Now I wanted it to be a little bit longer, but I thought it was pretty good otherwise. So I highly recommend Kakugo e Ika Soko no Joshi. Very cute series. Alright, so that's all for that. I'm going to put that there. Then we have the final series. So these are a lot of things were new and then concluded that I've never bought before, you know, or a lot of them were ongoing series that then finally concluded. This was a new series called Sixteen Syndrome by Konatsu and I was really looking forward to this because volume 1 and 2 sort of came out about the same time and 2 ended in a cliffhanger I was like looking forward to volume 3 and then they made this R17 or rated 17 and then they tried to change the ending of what happened in volume 2 to wrap it up in volume 3 because it got dropped so I will be looking into Konatsu's um, this manga cause work some more but it's all about these are two girls, and she, when she was little, she got kidnapped, and things bad things happened to her. And so she was supposed to look after her and protect her, and she didn't do it one time. And then she got kidnapped, so now she blames herself for everything and feels obligated to her. But she fell in love with her. And then this guy comes in and falls in love with her. So it's got this three-way complicated thing, and I thought it was so good. And it ended on here, Volume 2, with such a cliffhanger. And then they wrapped it up and they changed it really fast. I was like, no, I wanted more. I like it, but no. So um, Konatsu's work, I will be looking into more because I think that... Uh, I think she'll be a good manga card to look into, and also the Nesumi Chisatos. I will start looking into them a little bit more. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I will continue trying to go through all this. As you can see, I've got tons. So I will continue to go through them. Thank you so much for watching.